Oh my god, the Mad Lads did it. Rocksteady has officially lifted the NDA that everyone had signed when they went and tried out the official closed alpha test for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. They put out a statement yesterday saying, back in November, we held a closed alpha test for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League where players agreed to a non-disclosure agreement and got a chance to check out an early section of the game. Now that there is more news out on the game and players are asking, we're no longer enforcing a portion of the NDA and we're allowing players to talk about their experience from the closed alpha test. We've heard the community requests and want to give players an opportunity to discuss what it's like to explore Metropolis as Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Captain Boomerang, and King Shark. To the amazing players who tested the game, please feel free to talk about and write about your gameplay experience. Keep in mind that all other terms of the NDA still apply and players may not post imagery or videos from the closed alpha test. This is absolutely massive. Ever since myself and many of the other journalists posted their preview impressions for Suicide Squad, people online have been asking for Rock City for WB Games to lift the NDA on the closed alpha test so that everybody can give their opinions. And Rocksteady listened, they did it. And I'm so glad they did because I can finally, finally freaking talk about this, man. Let me just say immediately off the bat, I put almost 20 hours into the closed test. I literally had a flight the following day after the last night of the test and I was playing it right up until the server shut down because I was having so much fun with the traversal and so much fun with the gunplay. I will say Captain Boomerang is the one that I gravitate towards the most he's the guy who's the traversal i enjoyed running around with the most but dead shots was also really fun i love the idea that you want to use your jetpack fuel for as long as possible so right when you get it to the end then you hit that reset you get some more fuel and then what you do from there what i found to always be most effective is then just fly into a wall so then you can glide up the wall which allows you to reset your jetpack fuel from the beginning it just allows you to fly around pretty much from one end of the map to the other without touching the ground. Even King Shark had some great traversal. I love hitting the charge jump. Then when you land on the ground, sliding, charging up another jump, and then you can just keep going using those air dashes as well. Man, there is some really fun traversal in this game. Can't lie with you, it was very addicting, and it's a large part of why I ended up putting almost 20 hours into a closed test where I only had access to like the first three chapters of the game. And hey, I'm not the only one that felt this way. I asked you guys what you thought of the closed alpha test, and a ton of you responded. And unless the hundreds of people that responded to me or the thousands of people online that are giving a general consensus on this thing were all paid by WB, well, Generally, people did like the game. Atomic Super Me here says, I loved it. Pre-order the deluxe soon after, can't wait to play it. Venom Loki here says, when I saw the gameplay, I wasn't really interested. That all changed after playing the alpha test. Although I feel the world feels very empty, but the traversal, gunplay, character interactions, and story were all amazing. I can't wait till the full release. We need a photo mode. Totally agree with you there. I am really hoping photo mode is implemented into Suicide Squad Kill the Just League. I imagine it will be most AAA games that release these days have a photo mode. Todd here says, I was so nervous the live service elements would hinder the game, but Rocksteady is still cooking with gas. I love the gameplay and traversal. I'm a little nervous about the live service elements and the always online. However, I am very excited for the full release. And Todd, I'm with you. I'm still not 100 percent sure how to feel about the live service elements we're gonna have to wait and see how that's gonna hold up the game whether or not it's gonna hold the game back obviously if we're strictly talking the gameplay and the story from what we got to play in that limited time we had from the alpha test and as well from the limited time i had when i got to go to la and get my hands on that stuff was great the gameplay for me was fantastic the story stuff was very interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing how the story plays out. But obviously this is a live service game and that's gonna be a massive element to the game. And the one thing that I saw a lot of people bringing up, which ended up being obviously my favorite part of the closed alpha test. And I imagine a lot of people's favorite part of the closed alpha test was something to do specifically with one Justice League member. Now, minor spoilers ahead if you didn't play that test and if you don't want to know. But there is a mission where you go into a Batman museum. And this museum, first of all, is incredible and chock full of Arkham Easter eggs for fans of the franchise. It literally walks you through the events from Arkham Asylum all the way through to Arkham Knight. But on top of that, you are literally being hunted down by the Batman during this mission. And it's like a roles reverse type of situation. Instead of playing through a Predator mission as Batman, he's playing the Predator mission on you. It's freaking 
brilliant, man. It's so effective. And this looter shooter, third person game, whatever it is, turns into a horror game for this one mission. I loved it. And the cutscenes that transpire from before this sequence going into this sequence, I was enthralled, man. There is a moment where Batman picks up a gun, points it at Harley's head, and just as he shoots the flash with every last bit of might he has left, swipes that bullet away from hitting your head. Oh, it's just incredible. Rocksteady totally gets it. They get it. Even when these heroes are all turned to villains, they understand how they tick. They understand what makes them so cool. I am begging you, Rocksteady, okay? The Batman Arkham games changed everything for the whole superhero gaming genre. Suicide Squad, while a lot of people have their complaints, and I certainly have my negatives as well, still looks promising according to what everybody is saying about that closed alpha test. Another superhero game from the perspective of another Justice League member like The Flash or Green Lantern or even Superman would be a knockout. I still stand by the fact that I feel that the open world is a bit dead. And I mean, they do mention that pretty much all the civilians in Metropolis have been either killed or turned into Brainiac minions, which again, very bleak, very dark, very grim. And then I'll also say that while I enjoyed a majority of the traversal for the characters in the game, Harley Quinn's for me felt very floaty. Now, there have been some rock steady devs that have hit me up and say, hey, you're sleeping on Harley. This is a character that you really got to put some time into. So we'll see. When I get my hands on the full game, I'm going to try out Harley. I'm going to put a decent amount of hours into that character and see if I can really understand and grasp what makes her traversal tick. But from the limited time that I had in the closed alpha test, her traversal was the one that was working for me the least. It just didn't feel as fast or as fluid as the other three characters. We'll have to wait and see though. The game is a couple of weeks away. Overall, man, I'm just very happy that Rocksteady ended up lifting this NDA because there's been so much positive buzz from people online, which I've been very glad to see. It's been very vindicating for me. Some people online, some losers online always come at me for some positive opinions that I have. Even if I were to state all my negatives, they completely ignore that for the fact that there were things that I like. Because nowadays you're just never allowed to have even an ounce of nuance in your opinion. It's either you loved this thing, it's a 10 out of 10, or you hate this thing, it's the worst piece of garbage you've ever played in your life. God forbid you fell somewhere in the middle. God forbid there were some things that you liked and things that you didn't like. Oh well, what can you do? There's some things that I'm still not sure about with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Obviously, I am not 100% sure about that live service. And you know, I did mention some gripes that I had in my hands-on impressions for the game. The city feels rather dead. Sometimes there is a sensory overload. And that sensory overload was something that I was actually feeling when I played that closed alpha test. There were moments where I was like, okay, there's just way too much happening on screen. I don't know how to keep up. So I wish things like that could be toned down just ever so slightly without me having to worry about turning down the difficulty, which is something I don't want to do. But we'll see. It might be a bit too late for a change like that to be made for this game. But with that being said, let me now finally kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments section below. I know there are a ton of you out there who had the chance to play the closed alpha test. I want to hear what you have to say. You're allowed to talk about it now. And I know that not everybody's going to love it, and that's totally understandable. Please Please know that I respect your opinion if you're not looking forward to the game still, or if you didn't like what you got your hands on with. You're allowed to not like this game. I am not telling you that you need to love it. I'm just saying, let me like what I like, okay? You don't have to like what you don't like, and I'm not going to try and change your opinion, so why try to change mine? Leave me alone, man. Anyways, sound off with your thoughts in the comments. I've been Caboose. I'll see you guys later.